Hello everybody, my name is Thomas Schimpf with the Synchro team from Bentley. In today's video, we'll take a look at the new update for Synchro Modeler, version 10.03, which can be downloaded on the Bentley software downloads page. Next, let's jump to our Bentley communities page, communities.bentley.com. Here, users can post ideas or questions in the forums page, read blogs, or even post ideas or potential improvements. Bentley Communities also supplies best practices, product, and product update information. As you can see here, we have all the new features listed for the recent Synchro Modeler update. These include save queries for cost code assignments. This gives the ability to generate queries using design properties and specify cost codes that will be assigned. Assigning multi cost codes to a single element, creating saved views for you and the rest of the project team to view, and the ability to turn on and off maps and reality meshes, and a few other handy features you can check out on the Bentley's community page. Let's first take a look at creating a saved view. Once we have Synchro Modeler open, zoom in on the section we want to see. We can even select parts of the model and hide them from the view. Once you have the view you are looking for, we can select the saved view icon on the bottom of the page, then create a saved view and give it a unique name. From the options, turn on the shared slider, which allows the rest of the project team to see this view. Now, when we go to the iModel index, we can see our saved view has been saved and added. When we go back into the iModel, we simply open our saved views and pick the view we want to see. Now let's take a look at assigning multi-cost codes to a single element. We'll need to open up our Synchro Control project and go to the cost code configurations in the min module. From here, we will need to activate the allow multiple cost code assignments to a single element feature. Once we have that selected, we can open our project in Synchro Modeler. Find and select the element required and assign our multiple cost codes. As you can see, we have two separate cost codes assigned to one element, which include quantity, unit of measure, and the formula. Also, once the cost codes are assigned to the element, the model will turn green to identify it as being assigned a cost code. Please make sure to check out the Bentley's Communities page to see all the other new modeler features.